Hi guys, this is C.A. Shubham Sangvi. In the last video, we discussed the concept of random variables. In this video, we are going to just discuss the two main types of random variables. Now, random variables are basically of two types. One is discrete random variables and the other is continuous random variable. Now, what does discrete mean in English? So the literal meaning of discrete in English is basically distinct or separate. There are few other meanings of discrete, but the relevant meaning over here is the discrete or separate value of every random variable. Similarly, continuous is within an interval. So let's just uh, take a few examples and let's decide which of them which of them are discrete and which of them are continuous. So let's start with the example. Let x be a random variable. The example which we used in the previous video, number of heads when we toss three coins. So what are the different values x can assume? So x can be either 0, 1, 2 or 3. These are the different values which x can assume. So here we can count the different values of x. So whenever the possibility, whenever there is a possibility, when we can count the different values, the random variable can assume, then such a random variable will known will be known as discrete random variable. So this is a discrete random variable. Let's take another example. Let y be the number of insects in the universe. What are the number of insects in the whole universe? Now, again, what are different values that y can assume? So I can say there are one. There is one. There is one insect, two insects, three insects, four insects the number of insects can go up to infinity but they are still countable so i can say that y is countably infinite so we, we need to understand the meaning of this terminology countably infinite what are countably infinite basically the numbers which we can count one two three and this will go on it may go on up to infinity but we can count them so such numbers are also known as discrete series discrete random variables so whenever a random variable can assume countably infinite numbers then they are also discrete random variable let's take another example of discrete random variable uh, countably infinite so number of stars in the sky so obviously it is impossible to count the number of stars. There are infinite number of stars, but still they can be counted such as one, two, three, and this may go on. We can start the counting and this may go on for a lifetime. So there are infinite number of stars, but still they are countable. So I'll say these are countably infinite. And therefore, this is discrete random variable let's take another random variable let's say x2 the exact mass of a random student from a class exact mass or exact weight so 
how does we how do we calculate the mass of a student so we just take a measurement machine and through which we can measure the mass of a student but that mass is always an approximate mass because mass is actually the composition of different electrons neutrons the number of electrons so we cannot obviously count the exact number of electrons and neutrons in the mass of the student so the exact mass of a random student can never be counted it ranges from a certain value let's say the minimum mass of a student uh, from our class is around 40 kgs to it will go on up to let's say 90 kgs so the mass of a mass of any student may range from 40 kgs to 90 kgs but it may take any random value from this range basically let's say if i measure the uh, mass of a student it comes up to around 42.5 kgs but it will never be equal to 42.5 kg uh, exactly. It will be around let's say 42.94 kg or maybe 42.939482 kg. So I hope you are understanding my, con uh, my point that the mass of the student can go up to infinity but they cannot be counted exactly. They are always an approximate measure. So whenever we have to measure certain things, they cannot be measured up to exact unit. It will always go on up to infinity and it is an always, it is always an approximate measure. So such measures are always a continuous random variable. So continuous random variable can never assume an exact value. It will always range between a certain value such as if, if someone's weight is around 43 kgs, we will say that the weight of the student is between 42 kgs and 44 kgs but not precisely fit 43 kgs. We just use the approximate weight when we uh, talk in general sense but the exact mass of any student cannot be counted to the exact measurement and such variables are always random continuous random variables let's take a few more examples let a random variable y2 be the exact height of a student similar to previous example the height of a student can never be exactly counted to certain centimeters or certain millimeters. It will always go on up to infinity. The height cannot be measured exactly and that is why this again will be a continuous random variable. So please understand the meaning of uh, the countably infinite uh, example and this example here we cannot count the uh, weight exact mass of the student and therefore this is continuous random variable it will it will always range between two intervals whereas the number of stars in the sky we can count them but the counting will go, go on up to infinity because there are basically infinite number of stars here if we say to be uh, the weight is to be counted exactly the weight may be 42.5 kgs or 42.6 kgs if we start counting like this but still there will be infinite numbers in between these so let's say i start with 42.5 then 42.51 then 42.52 again within this interval again there will be some infinite number of values just as 40 42.501 42.502 so basically these values cannot be counted exactly and therefore such values are always continuous random variable. Let's take another example. Let's add to be a random variable which is the value of the exact timing, exact time required to complete a 100 meter race so this time may range from let's say 6.01 minutes 
second sorry it may be 6.02 it may be 6.03 and this may go on up to let's say the maximum time required is 13 seconds but again in between those two timings 6.01 and 6.02 we have left out another infinite number of possibilities which can be 6.011 6.011 and so on so within two values there are infinite number of values such values are always again continuous random variable now what if i change the value of z2 let's say z2 is the time required to complete 100 meters race and i'll just add a few words rounded off to closest seconds if we round off the time in closest seconds then we can surely say that the time required may be 6 seconds or 7 seconds or 8 seconds or 9 seconds 10 11 12 and 13 these are the only possible values which z2 can take and obviously these values can be counted it may be infinite number of values because some person may require a hundred seconds a thousand seconds a million seconds but these values may be counted so closest seconds bola hai so we can count them to six seven eight nine ten and so on and therefore this becomes a discrete random variable because in the interval of two numbers six and seven there are no numbers which can assume the value z2 which z2 can assume so basically six and seven ke beech mein there are no further infinite number of values after six we can directly jump to seven after seven we can directly jump to eight after eight we can directly jump to nine so whenever the values of the random variable can be jumped from one value to another such values are always discrete random variables whereas if we jump between two values of a continuous random variable we skip skip another thousand or million or infinite number of values within the two intervals just as we saw 42.5 and 42.6 if we jump from 42.5 to 42.6 we have skipped another infinite number of values which x2 can assume that is why these type of variables will be continuous random variables which are continuously increasing right from 42.5 to 42.6 there are infinite number of values between them and the value of x2 is continuously increasing from one point to another <coughs> and it does not jump from one point to another whereas in discrete random variable it jumps from one point to another the first value which we assumed was six over here six seconds from there we directly jump to seven seconds seven to eight seconds and there are no different values which z2 can assume between these two values such values are always discrete random variable so i hope you have understood the difference between the basic difference between discrete random variable and continuous random variable